All right, guys, Dean Hansen here again. Uh, today I'm going to solve a problem that amazingly has not been solved on YouTube yet, or at least I haven't found a video that's going to show you what I am about to show you. And it caused me a lot of frustration. And now that, now that I've solved the problem, I'll go ahead and put the video on of how to fix it yourself. Um, this video is specifically about ripping DVDs to your computer using Handbrake software. Handbrake is awesome and it's free. So find Handbrake, download it, make sure you download the right version. If your Mac is a 32-bit, make sure you do 32, not 64, or it will not work. Now, what makes this video different than all the other ones you've seen already about Handbrake is I'm going to show you how to make it actually freaking work. Um, a lot of people have had problems, me included, where you would burn a DV rip a DVD with handbrake, all the chapters would be out of order and flipped around, or all of a sudden I had a problem when I was burning, ripping the movie 21, all of a sudden the next chapter would be in Spanish, and then all of a sudden the next scene would be in English and in French. And I was like, this isn't right, it's not working, or it would just not work at all, or the biggest problem I had with like Mac the Ripper, which I do not like at all, is it would only do like three quarters of the movie and then stop. First thing you're going to want to do before you even open Handbrake, take the DVD that you want to burn and throw it in your computer. Now this is going to be kind of Mac specific, but I'm sure you can do it with PC and figure it out. But this, I'll show you how to do it if you have a Mac first. Let the DVD start up in your DVD viewing program. For Mac, I think it's just called um, DVD player. You know, Let it start up. Let the DVD play. Go somewhere in the middle of the DVD and right click right on the screen. What you're trying to find is the title. What title is it playing during the actual movie? Not during the parts where you know it's um, previews or um, during the main menu or something. Don't worry about that. You want it to be in the middle of the movie somewhere. Go find title. So we right click title and see which one is checked. Right now it's playing title 33. That's very important. There are 99 to pick from and it's playing 33. You can see it checked. That's the actual thing you're going to want to burn. Now what we're going to want to do after we know the title is go to handbrake. And how I did that I just right clicked right on the screen and went to title. When you open up handbrake it comes up instantly wanting a file to open into it. Go to the side and just single click on the CD. You can see right here on the sidebar, you got your CD drive. Don't click any other folders or anything, just single click the CD and hit open. Now this part can take up to a couple minutes to open the DVD into Handbrake, so just be patient. Okay, now once that's done, for this particular movie, that took about eight minutes, so be patient with it. Some movies are faster, and um, my office is in the basement, and my furnace is running, so uh, you probably can't hear me very well, but whatever. Let's get to the point. This is what it looks like when it's done, when it's loaded in. Now, you got some options here. Look through it yourself. I'm not going to go into the boring bullshit, but I mean, if you pick the Apple stuff, you can usually put it on your iPod and things like that. So if that's what you're putting it on there for, click on iPod or Uni or Universal. They'll both go on an iPod. If not, I just do regular normal. That's what I do. Um, it's in there now. Now here's the important part that everybody else leaves out. That that title it played. When we're watching the movie, it actually plays title 33. Well, this automatically picks title 28 because it thinks 28 is the real one, and it's not. 28 is a dummy title specifically put in there to make you think that you can't rip your DVD correctly. All it does is it rearranges the order of all the chapters so you can't watch it correctly. Click here. 
go down to title 33 the title we know that it actually is select it now we're in business once again you can go through and change all the all the settings you want picture settings blah 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 but if you just do regular normal make sure you have the right title selected it'll work out just fine then I click add to query which I don't think you actually have to click that that's if you were gonna do multiple things at once I add it to it and hit start you can probably just hit start but I add and then hit start once you hit start I'm not gonna do it because I already have this one on here you'll see it start to load and it will tell you how much approximate time you have left and everything and it I believe it automatically saves it to your desktop or you can click browse here and save it somewhere else I have it to my desktop comes out as an mp4 file um, and it comes out for a typical movie to be in about a gig which isn't bad I mean you can fit four of these things on one DVD so and it looks pretty good you know I think it looks let, let, let's look at Shutter Island which is one I just put on there it's a pretty new DVD it's only been out for about two weeks I think and I'll show you what it looks like so I put Shutter Island on here which has every single I mean high budget film that has everything you could possibly every type of security that you could put on a DVD is on there and this worked just fine doing exactly what I just showed you right here I like to watch things in VLC you can watch it in other things and it comes out looking great Rachel Solando's note. The law of four, I love that. He said you had no idea what that second line could refer to, correct? 46 to 7? Yes, I'm afraid I still don't. None of us do. Uh-huh. And that's it. I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, yeah, so make sure... I mean, the biggest thing that's different between my video and everybody else's is just to make sure you have the right title. It's a huge step that everybody else leaves out, and it's probably because it's a pretty new problem. Make sure you select the right title, and follow everything else. It's just common sense to get it on your computer.